What is up everybody, Golden Yogi here, and you are tuning into the channel with the Golden Perspective. Today we're going to take a look at Ethereum, um, and not just in any way, but in a special way. And there's a hint on the screen now, but before that, I want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below if you have not already. While you're down there, uh, feel free to turn on the post notification so you know when the next video is coming up. Uh, you can come follow over on library as well. Plenty of good content there and it's a fabulous uh, platform. Um, also, leave a comment down below if you feel uh, like you'd like to and if, please leave any sort of comment whatsoever. My only request is that you please be civil in your discourse. Kindness and, con and compassion are absolutely free and just uh, take a moment to edit your response before leaving it with uh, that in mind. And I thank you so much. Uh, share this with a friend, um, you know, like, dislike, whatever you like. It's all good. Okay, let's get into it. Um, I did a video uh, maybe about a week and a half ago on the potential uh, Golden Cross, which is the 50 moving average crossing from under over the 200. Now we're right now we're looking at the daily on ETH to Bitcoin. Um, this to me matters probably more than anything else. Now, like you know, the ETH dollar, this is good. It has it has some really great stuff when we're looking at the daily of how how it had a retracement back down to the 618. Okay, but Bitcoin still holds the largest amount of dominance in the market. And so watching how Ethereum plays against Bitcoin is important to me. And now this is a long time, um, uh, you know, like you can see here how uh, over time Ethereum was way, way higher up against Bitcoin. So I really feel like it can do that again. And we're still just getting starting started. Um, we went through this lull period right here and things started picking up. Now, since it did and it came up and retraced back, this is where I started this pitchfork, okay? And I just want to show, you know, here of how well this has been following um, these, uh, uh, this midline and the various standard deviations that come off of it, okay? Because uh, that's what this this big light, this thicker light blue line is on either side. This is one standard deviation above this center point, and this is minus one standard deviation. This is a half. This is 1.5, and this is two, I believe. Let's let's double check here just for a minute. Oh, cancel that. Um, we click on this, and let's look at. Yeah. These are standard deviations off away from it. So the red one is two standard deviations above. And you can see how as price moved up, it just before that, it rejected down, went back through, tested through the midline, came back to the first standard deviation up, tried to poke through, down, stopped at the center line, poked back through, through the half, almost to the uh, uh, other side of the standard deviation. And now we're back to the center line, okay? But the thing I find the most interesting is when we move over to the weekly chart. Now this has never happened before because we don't have the history of data of these two against each other. And I want to show you here. Um, first, I want to look at the Ichimoku cloud. We're way above that on the weekly. Now. We turn on these simple moving averages. You can see that as soon as this new week opened up, you know, we're Tuesday right now. So Sunday evening, we just had this cross. So this is the 50 weekly moving average, and this is the 200. We just crossed in a very bullish way for Ethereum. Now, keep your eyes on DeFi. Ethereum is really where everything is happening. Now, I am always unsure about how the scaling will happen on Ethereum, but right now it just doesn't seem to matter. 
Um, that's again one of those things that keeps getting kicked down the road. Uh, when we pull up DeFi Pulse and we look at like say like the total amount of ETH locked in Aave and Aave is holding the dominance inside DeFi right now, it's just steady going up. Like if we looked at it like USD value, it's like up, down, up, down. It looks like, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Well, you look at the amount of ETH still getting put in, we're at an all time high. Pretty much like at an all time high, you know, Bitcoin's down. Dies, it took a little dip, but ETH is way up here. Okay, um, let's see if we can identify anything else here too. So just the total total locked in DeFi is a little bit of down, but you see how Ave has taken taken things over um, incredibly. Total locked USD. This is interesting. So if I switch it over to ETH Maker has way more ETH. How come Maker... Oh, maybe there's just the ETH. So let's look at Maker here for a minute. Total ETH locked. Okay, that's down a little bit. But I know Avi is growing like crazy because Maker had the dominance for quite some time. And now Avi is way in the lead. Okay. Um, Let's get back to this chart here. So we have this uh, bullish cross, all right? Now, if we come back over to the daily, which is where I usually like to watch, uh, I'll flip over to the weekly on large scale analysis. Um, you know, we have price action now moving over the 50 week or 50 day moving average. And if we move this down, and even something else I'd like to watch here too, is the 13 and 34 these are looking really good um things are still above over here uh let's pull this down and let's look at the ichiboku cloud so we're in a solid test right now how we came back through the cloud dropped down below and now climbing back up touching this very top here now, let's see what happens. Um, we're going to see probably some resistance right around this 0 0.7, 0 0.72 range. You know, the top of the cloud is right at like 0.68, but see how it drops down here? So it could, it could walk itself right out of here if, if it were to like even drop down a little bit and move sideways. Um, this is exciting. I really, really have my eye on ETH, and I just want to share this with you all as a continuation of the last uh, bit of analysis on ETH Bitcoin. Um, I'm going to keep my eyes on this. Uh, let's see, the Gaussian channel. Um, how does this do? I know some people look at the five day on this. Um, it's way above that. Uh, you know, the daily it was right inside, but I, I'm not going to talk about the Gaussian channel too much because that's not my cup of tea. I'm not really well versed in that. But the Ichimoku cloud, um, moving averages, uh, geometric patterns like a pitchfork, these all look really, really good. Um, we can even, too, let's pull a fib here off of this bottom up to here. And we could see pretty much a 50% retracement of all of this action, which is solid. This is the place where we would see things start to pick up and we see it come down, comes back up, comes back, tests it again. And I don't even think it created a new low if we come in and really, really look. No, it did. It created a slightly new low right here. Okay, just a bit of a wick, right? Um, you can see I have another alert here to let me know if it does drop below that. But at this point, that's quite a fall. That's another like 20% drop against Bitcoin at that. So I'm, I'm excited to watch this, how this plays forward. Let me know what you think down below. I appreciate your time. Take care. I love you all. Peace.